Hello, my name is Nikolai Nikitin and I want to present our research devoted to multi-objective optimization of breakwaters using evolutionary approach. There are a lot different protective structures that allow to defend different marine and coastal objects from the dangerous natural phenomena. For example, the aquaculture facilities can be defended by the breakwaters. Or, for example, the coast can be protected from erosion by the breakwater. And the design of such protective structures is complex scientific and technical tasks that uh, require to take into attention both engineering side and metrosian science side. There is quite interesting case of breakwaters that protect the port or terminal from the wind wave influence. If such breakwaters is not efficient enough, the ships or port itself can be damaged by the environmental influence. The design of such breakwaters is especially difficult engineering and scientific problem because the different factors should be taken into account to choose the proper configuration of such defensive structures. And there is a problem of uh, port life cycle because since the port extends, the existing breakwaters should be extended to maintain the necessary level of uh, protection. So there is a problem of choice of the optimal configuration of the additional part of breakwaters. The widely used approach to the breakwater design is the manual optimization by the expert and verification of expert decision using numerical and physical modeling. However, such approach is quite time consuming and requires a lot of expert time. And as you can see, there is a problem of dimensionality because we can represent different breakwaters as a set of segments that can be described by the coordinates of their ends. And as you can see, since we want to increase the number of breakwaters or increase the number of segments in each breakwater to find the more efficient solution with the higher precision we have more values to choose and it can be hard uh, to the expert. So the numerical optimization approaches can be used in this case. Uh, however, to do it, we should formalize the quality metrics in constraints in this problem. There are different metrics can be used to describe the acceptability of each breakwater configuration for the analyzed task. The first uh, criteria that is quite obvious, its criteria depends on wave height, so it describes the protective efficiency of the selected breakwaters configuration. The second one is estimated cost of the construction, so if we have a larger breakwater, so it will be cost more to build it. Of course, it's quite simplified estimation because the building cost depends on hydrology or some other parameters of the harbor. Uh, however, it's good initial estimations to prepare one solution and reject the second one. Also, the influence to the ship influence to the ship maneuvering should be taken into account because, of course, we can just found the solution that closes the port from the all wind waves. However, it will be useless solution since ship can operate in the port in this case. Uh, so we propose the criteria that based at minimal distance from each point of breakwaters to the fairways. And for our test configuration, we label the existing fairways and uh, for each configuration of breakwaters calculate the set of distance. It allowed to estimate the security of ship operations in the port caused by modified uh, scheme of protective constructions and also reject unappropriate solutions. It should be noted that only additional objectives for the 
breakwater optimization problem is not enough in many cases. There should be strict constraints that allow to remove unappropriate solutions in early steps. For example, there is a limitation on intersection of fairway center lines and there is a restriction of self-intersection between breakwaters. And you can see in right figure such configurations should be removed before simulation of the wave situation starts. And the limitation of intersection with uh, fairways is presented in the left picture. So, the multi-objective optimization task can be formulated here with all described objectives and constraints. Uh, first of all, we have the parameter vector that uh, describes the special location of the breakwaters and it optimizes it during all procedure. Also, we have set of target criteria and constraints that describe as different function from the X vector. And also we have some uh, composite fitness function that uh, should be minimized during the optimization. And that is uh, depends from all these described functions. The transformation of spatial coordinates of uh, breakwaters to the genotypic representation will be used uh, during the optimization can be done in different ways. The first way is the direct Cartesian encoding that based on a pairs of coordinates. It is presented in left picture. However, it's not the best suitable solution since there is hard to optimize several sequential segments of breakwaters with such coordinates. And in this case, we decided to, to try the angular coordinates, so they encodes the length of breakwater and the relative angle from the previous segment of breakwater. So the different encoding uh, for our opinion allow to increase the efficiency of optimization and we will validate it uh, during the experimental studies. There is several different approaches can be used uh, to solve this optimization problem. The quite efficient approach is evolutionary algorithms. For example, Pareto-based multi-objective evolutionary algorithm SPEAR2 that was used during the experiments. It allowed not to transform all objectives to some uh, final solution because it used concept of Pareto domination and Pareto frontier to estimate the best solutions in the populations and uh, choose the most promising one and also it allowed to preserve the diversity of individuals in the population. The other possible approach is to apply the single objective optimization to the fitness function that can be calculated as weighted sum of the coefficients of this objective. The formulation is presented in the right and as you can see the problem is how to evaluate the weight coefficients so it's some work that should be done by the expert. The evolutionary optimizations can consist of several steps. The first one is a initialization of initial population. It is done by the random combination of uh, different segments of breakwater. Then the genetic operators like selection, crossover and mutations are applied to this population. And during these steps, the exchange between different indi individuals is done by crossover. So the most uh, valuable parts of genetic materials uh, that are really segments of breakwaters that uh, we want to optimize are combined to more fitted individuals. Of course, it's a problem of dimensionality of the search space, so we try to apply the greedy approach in frame of it we use the optimization window that contains several segments of breakwater and in one step of uh, greedy optimization algorithm we optimize just uh, several coordinates 
of each breakwater. And then, after several generations of evolutionary algorithm, we freeze these coordinates and move the optimization window to the right, to the next genes in genotype, and their optimization starts again. The effectiveness of this algorithm will be evaluated during the experimental studies too. The implemented crossover and mutation scheme is organized as presented. The cr crossover is one point crossover that uh, for our case have some real representation. We just extract the several segments of breakwaters from one configuration, uh, several segments from second configuration and combine it. And as you can see, we can extract the useful parts from one configuration, useful part from second configuration, and evaluate the final solution. If it's better than the previous one, uh, so it will be preserved in the next uh, population. To run the mutation, we use the Gaussian distribution that is uh, added to coordinates of breakwaters to uh, find the new solutions. It allow both explore the space of possible uh, configurations and refine the existing promising solutions. So the found solutions can be quite effective. To estimate the protective efficiency of each breakwater's configuration, we use numerical spectral model of CVAs, uh, SVEN. It allowed to simulate uh, significant wave height for the different wind conditions. In our case, we build the configuration with two grids. The first grid for the whole sea and the second grid for the water area in the port that we should use during the breakwater's quality evaluation. The Resolution of computational grid is 25 meters and to represent different dangerous situation we use the data about possible wind speed uh, that can occur one time in 15 years. And as you can see there are two different configurations presented. The first is existing structure of breakwaters and the second one the modified structure with the added segments. And the location of the segments is identified using evolutionary algorithm described before. And as you can see in the right uh, figures there is different field of significant wave height and as you can see in the left plot the height of the waves is significantly decreases after the modifications of breakwater structure. To analyze the results of, of experimental studies, we use several uh, plots. The first is convergence plot. It demonstrates that during the evolution, the more and more stable solutions can be found in the next generations. It con confirms that optimization converged and we really found some minima. The second plot in the left uh, demonstrate that in each new generation we found the better solutions uh, by the relative cost of efficiency criterion. So for each amount of money invested in the, into the construction we uh, can achieve the best efficiency or for fixed efficiency, we found the solutions that allow us to build it with lower cost. And the right plot demonstrates the comparison of the different Pareto frontiers obtained during the optimizations for all described approaches. There is multi-objective and single-objective approaches are compared also, the proposed greedy heuristic uh, is compared with clear optimization approach. Also, the angular and Cartesian encoding for the coordinates are compared here. And as you can see, if we have uh, our Pareto frontier in the left and bottom part, so it's better that uh, the same frontier that uh, located in the right part. Uh, so the black line 
is dominating and it demonstrates that multi-objective approach with angular encoding is the best one in this case. And the greedy heuristic really do not perform well in this case, but it should be noted that in this case we have a lot of time to achieve the convergence for each algorithm. However, in some cases there is a limit on optimization time or on available computational resources that can be used. So we can propose the algorithm that allow to find not the best solution in large time, but a better solution in restricted time. And as you can see in the left plot, the greedy heuristic allow to find best Gipper volume metric for the restricted number of model evaluations. And as you can see, the Gipper volume is a square of Pareto frontier. So the larger Gipper volume means that the better front of solutions found. The right, right plot represents the stability of uh, the Gipper volume metric. It means that if you have several sequential evaluations of the evolutionary algorithm, then we can estimate the variance of this metric. And as you can see, it's quite small. So if you have several optimization rounds, then we found quite similar Pareto frontiers. And it's good because our solution is quite stable. And there is the visualization of some results of our test configurations. And as you can see, we use differential evolution single objective algorithm as baseline and the spear to multi-objective algorithm as the proposed approach. And the SPEAR2 allowed to find best solution. Uh, it converts faster. And in the right part, there are two examples of uh, identified solutions presented. As you can see, there is a different configuration in Pareto Frontier. The first one is more expensive, but provides better defense. And the lower one is a cheaper one, but the defense is, is worse. And in this step, the expert should be involved to choose the better configurations and refine it from the construction point of view. Finally, during this research, uh, we formulate some objectives and constraints that can be used during the numerical optimization of breakwater structure. Also, several variants of evolutionary approach were analyzed and as it can be demonstrated in the experimental setup, the multi-objective approach is quite effective, especially if the angular encoding of coordinates is used. And also the greedy heuristic can be useful in some cases when we want to decrease the search space and found the appropriate solution faster. Uh, all source code for experiments is available in GitHub. Thank you for your attention. I am ready to answer your questions.